As I progress with uh, my shooting skills, I found that I've been shooting a lot more in volume. And since I'm shooting a lot more pistol, um, I decided that I wanted to get my dog some hearing protection because pistol is really the, the one firearm or kind of firearm that he does not like at all. Uh, bolt action rifle, AR-15, all that stuff, he seems to be doing okay. And I think it has something to do with the pitch, um, not so much of the loudness of the firearm. Now, I went online and did a lot of research and there wasn't that many options out there, but there was a company called Mutt Muffs who make these. And uh, so far, you know, there have been mixed reviews about it. A lot of them are more positive than, than not, but um, I wanted to try them out for myself. So I contacted them up and they said, okay, sure. So I'm gonna show you guys how it fits and I'm also gonna put it on a side-by-side -side test with both my AR-15 and my 45 ACP 1911 pistol. And I'll let you guys decide whether or not they work. So earmuffs just go on top like that. And then there's a strap on the bottom. You just tighten that up. So it fits pretty good. There's two adjustment straps on the top here, which you pretty much just adjust one time and then a tightening strap on the bottom. And then just go ahead and trim off any excess and then pretty much set to go and go get him. And he's off. I'm gonna take three shots without the earmuffs on and then three shots with it on and then do a side-by-side -side comparison. Zip, ready? How's that boy? Don't like it? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put them on and do a side-by-side. I'm gonna try out my AR right now, and right now Zip has the earmuffs on, so let's give it a go. During testing, I wasn't able to look at Zip while I was shooting, but in reviewing the footage side by side, I found that with the pistol, it may not have cured it completely, but he is a lot more comfortable with the headphones on. On the AR-15, it's kind of a toss-up. There's not too much difference, but if I was to change the design of these headphones at all, it would definitely probably be that um, the way that the straps mount to the cups, I would probably have a little molded ring on the outside or maybe a riveted one instead of holes cut into it, and I think that would make it a little more effective. As far as fit goes, I think it fits his head pretty well. Uh, he's about a little under 50 pounds, maybe 45 pounds, and I got him a size medium. It seems to fit great. There's, it comes in all sorts of different sizes, so um, no matter what size your dog, you can always protect their ears. Um, but there's a lot of different reasons why a dog will or will not freak out in a certain environment. Um, so take firearms for example, they could be freaking out because of the feeling that they get from the percussion. You know, if you have a big muzzle break or if you're shooting a heavy caliber, you might freak out. It could be the certain pitch of the round that you're shooting. And so it may or may not solve all your issues, but it's definitely worth a shot. Especially because if you get it from them, there is a 30 day money back guarantee, I believe. So either if it doesn't fit or your dog's just not having it at all or if they don't even work for your situation because your dog um, is freaking out for a completely different reason aside from noise, you can go ahead and, um, and get your money back. But for the cost and you know how much you love your dog, I think it's worth every penny. And certainly something if you have a gun dog, it's worth to have. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you guys got one. If it works for you, great. If it doesn't, let me know why. So thank you for watching and take care.